Do you guys have seen the trailer of this when they drive over it with a car, smash it on the concrete and it still works? Yeah, this thing can do it. Herzlich willkommen Airsofters and welcome to another Airsoft review video. Today we are taking a close look at this ENL AK74M Diamond Series from Bigardi. Diamond Series stands for the newest version of this ENL AK series. In today's review we are going to take a close look at the external parts, internal parts and we are also going to take this thing at the shooting range to measure the exact performance and the maximum range because that's what counts, right? So without any further ado, let's jump right into the video. If you order this AK from Begadi, you will receive it in this beautiful box. And I would say let's open it up. If you open it up, the first thing we will see the Begadi chrono paper because Begani has to chrono every rifle before they send it out and here you can see the exact jewels which this rifle obviously has. Then moving on, we have here a manual, the user manual from E&L. Moving on, we have here this legendary perfection banner. Then we have here some protection some more protection, a magazine which is not made out of metal, it is actually ABS but it feels quite nice and it's oiled. <laughs> we have here this bottle which is supposed to hold oil so you can put some oil in to clean the external parts from this rifle because it's mainly made out of stainless steel. Moving on, we have here the cleaning parts. So this AK has, like the real one does, some original cleaning parts which you can fit into the stock. We have here some, or well, one safeguard. Last but not least, we have here the AK itself. And yeah, basically, the box is empty. And now I would say, let's take a closer look at this AK. Now it's actually time to dive deep into the externals and afterwards to the internal part section of this video. First things first, I'm not going to tell you every boring technical detail about this rifle. If you're interested in that, you can look it up at the web pages on your own. This video is all about performance and I'm pretty sure you just clicked on this video because you want to see this thing, how it performs. I'm right? Of course I am. But beside that, I'm going to make a quick rundown of the external parts and also of the internal parts later on to give you guys a view what those parts are made of and how do they actually look and feel. So, first things first, this thing is a massive combination. It's made out of steel and also real wood and it has some ABS parts on it at the external parts section. But let's find out. I'm starting off with the steel parts, the flash hider, the iron sight, the outer barrel, the gas tube, the upper receiver, the lower receiver, the back plate right here, the sling mount here in the back and also here at the front iron sight, which is adjustable like on the real one, are made out of stainless steel. That's why it's actually quite oily as well to prevent it from rusting because if it gets wet, it will rust just like the real one. Then here on the front we have the handguard, the handguard, the upper part of the handguard and also the lower one and here the stock which is really massive by the way are made out of real wood. These are oiled as well and if you want to customize it you could actually burn it down and do some stuff like that but I think the way it looks now it's just perfect. Then here the piston grip is the only ABS part but it's a high quality one so if you grip it it doesn't wobble and it feels good so it's a good high quality piston grip and yeah basically those are let's place it here those are the external parts oh I forgot one thing here is a mount here you can mount actually a red dot on top this mount is made out of steel as well. By the way guys, there are rumors, I don't know it exactly, 
that the E and L AKs are made out of real AK parts. So I can't confirm it, but if you guys know anything about that, write it down in the comments below. Then moving up to the markings actually, here on the front we have a marking from Begadi, which says Begadi is the importer, but I will remove that. I'm pretty sure they have to place it up there because of legal reasons, but it just don't look great. Then here on the front we have here a graved in Begadi caliber 6mm marking and on the other side we have like a serial number from this AK. And basically that's it about the markings. Here on the top at the iron side we have some markings as well which once again are adjustable like on the real one. And yeah, those are the external parts. Now it's actually time to dive deep and let's check out the internal parts of this rifle. So here in the back, let's start with the heart. We have here the gearbox, which is a version 3 gearbox. It has some 9mm ball bearings. It has a quick change spring system. You guys know why I love the quick change spring system and why it's in my point of view a must nowadays. Then we have a CNC machined piston head with two O-rings which gives us a really good seal and the air should stay there where it's supposed to be. Then we have here some stainless steel 18 by one uh, gears. So this thing is just built to last basically. Moving a little bit forward, we have nozzle which has an O-ring as well. And the most important part is the Begadi EFCS slash MOSFET which is already built in here. So, the MOSFET protects your rifle from melting down if you attach to an 11.1 volt LiPo battery which can get really hot and obviously melt down, it just protects it from doing so. And with the electronic trigger unit we have a snappier trigger response and you can trigger fast and it feels better. It's not the long way which we used to have from the older AGs. Moving forward to the precision part section of this rifle, we have here a standard metal pop-up chamber, which has in the inside an ENDL hopper bucking and on top of that it has a maple leaf tensioner. The barrel, the inner barrel is actually a 6.04 millimeter precision inner barrel by ENDL. So I'm really hyped to test it out and as you had heard, those parts are just really high quality and made almost out of stainless steel. So this thing is really built to last. You won't be able to destroy the outer parts. Maybe I will do a demolition video of this rifle. It would be super interesting. This is standby! And it still works, amazing. If you guys want to see that, write it down in the comments below. I would say that's enough talking. Let's go out with this thing, fill up the magazine with BBs, put in a LiPo battery and then just test it. Ladies and gentlemen, and let me take you by your head and guide you through this amazing shooting experience. So in the first round, we have our target here in the back. It's 20 meters far away. We will test the accuracy. This means I'm going to shoot at the target, which is 20, 40, and 60 meters far away. After I hit it, I will mark the hits, basically, and then you guys can see the spread. After that accuracy test is done, and you guys can see how this thing performs, we will get to the real deal, the maximum range. This will contain with a target, which is 70 meters far away. I will try to shoot it. And if we can hit it constantly, I will move the target even further on until we have our maximum range. Tests like this are really important, especially for me. If I want to purchase an airsoft rifle, I want to see how it performs. I'm not interested in the technical details. I want to see how far this can shoot and how accurate it is. And those things we are going to find out right now.
This is now the maximum range test. The target over there is 70 meters far away. Let's see if we can hit it. All right, we are now 80 meters far away. The target is over there. And let's see if we can hit it. All right, so as you had seen, we were able to hit the target, which is 80 meters far away. But I think that's the maximum range because we are getting inaccurate and a few shots don't hit the target. They just fly over it next to it and everything. So I would say 75 are the usable maximum range for this rifle, which is just incredible. Dun, 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 dun. Welcome to Standby Reviews, where your dreams come true. Now it's time for the sum up section of this video. What do I think of this rifle? Would I recommend it for anybody out there and why? So I'm just, it's just stunning. This rifle is just built to the least. It's not, is it gonna break? No, what is it gonna break? Because it's just so sturdy. The combination between stainless steel and wood is just incredible once again if you guys want to see a demolition video of this thing i'm more than happy to do that write it down in the comments below do you guys have seen the trailer of this when they drive over it with a car throw it in water and just shoot and stuff like that they smash it on a concrete and it still works yeah this thing can do it so it's just incredible and mind-blowing would i recommend this thing for a beginner i would say absolutely yes because under 500 bucks this is one of the best AKs you can get right now out there. So it is just built to least. If you take care of it, maintain it regularly, this can basically least forever, just like the real AKs. Would I recommend it for a advanced or pro airsoft player? Of course, why not? This could be your rifle to go out for mill sims where you have to sleep in tents or even without tents if you are on a budget and just get wet and soaked and this thing will still work. Maybe if you HPA tap it and just put in an HPA unit, this would be overkill. As you can hear, I'm super hyped about this product because it's just amazing. And I would recommend it for anybody out there. So before you just start doing anything, go to the website, order it, try it out and you will be as hyped as I am about this product. And this brings us, let's put it this way, this brings us to the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you guys very much for watching. I really appreciate that you took the time and watched all the way until the end. And with that had been said, take care of you and I see you guys in the next one.